Hey guys, it's Chaz with the Cooper Group, and I'm here at South Coast Pizza with Eric Moses. Hey, uh, so tell me a little bit, you got started on, this place has been here for about five years? Yeah, we've been here about five years. My boss is a real smart entrepreneur there, and he was running a brewery across the street and saw how close it was to downtown and access to transportation here, and so uh, he got going with the pizza place. I'd known him... Uh, 10 years prior, I knew I was a reliable guy who had done pizzas a long time, so he brought me in. So it's been... Um, you said you had a whole lot of experience in pizza and both just restaurant industry. Yeah, in yeah. I started off at Panera Bread over 20 years ago, and um, they really helped show me the systems and processes and how to keep organized. And since then, I've worked at a variety of sandwich and pizza and Italian places, and I've been able to draw a lot of experience and retain it so that's great and apply it to here yeah and it's awesome you were talking about getting to, to develop all the pizzas to come up with all the toppings and oh it's so much fun i worked at the mellow mushroom in Asheville, north carolina for a little while and they had lots of different creative pizzas and since then i've traveled to over 10 countries and had pizzas in, in all of them and uh got to really draw that between inspiration that and the internet and research i think i have over five books on uh pizza cooking you know i even have the ninja turtles pizza book of course uh, that's cool yeah but um so it's been awesome integrating uh just so many different cultures and, uh, and ideas into one thing it's, it's been fun and just getting to draw from all of that and come oh, up with all yeah. the different specialties and things and just that cross cross-cultural stuff so interesting yeah definitely i really i like when you get to draw inspiration and things from other areas oh so yeah about a, uh, got a Cuban oh, the type Cuban. Pizza well. oh it's so rich people love it there we do a little bit of barbecue stuff here too which is neat we barbecue uh wings we smoke wings and sell those here and our chicken topping is smoked chicken thighs and we do oh i guess that's not on the cuban but we have uh the cubans a mustard barbecue base with a mozzarella pickles ham pulled pork on there so that's where the barbecue element was and um but on the chicken pickle um, on Swiss. the chicken pizzas too. The, oh yeah, so they got the smoked thighs. Really add a bunch of flavor in there. So oh, it really does. It's so much better than any other chicken topping you can buy doing it doing it yourself. There we do a instead of a barbecue chicken, you know, we did our own swing. We did a bar barbalo chicken, which is a buffalo barbecue base with a. We just did mushrooms, onions, and the arch smoked chicken thighs on there, and that's real good. Oh, it sounds awesome. Yeah. And you were talking about another one, too, with the, the, all the meats there? Oh, the, yeah. I the, did a, uh, I wanted to do a meat pizza, but not the standard meat pizza. We do have a classic meat lovers, but I, I do one with the uh, the red base and the mozzarella and then gyro or smoked chicken thighs and pulled pork on there. And that's a, a smoky treat there. Sounds it's awesome. Real rich and real good. And you hit on the location just a moment ago, but so we're basically right across from Alliance and right in front of Sutri's Landing, right? Oh basically. yeah, so we're just awesome whoop, spot. right over the river from downtown, five minutes, and with James White Parkway and Forty here from um, Cedar Bluff, it's like fifteen minutes. Uh, where would folks? I mean, if they weren't just coming in here. I guess they were going to order. Of course, they go to their website, but where else would, would they go check out your Facebook or just go to your oh, website? Oh, yeah, we got a little bit of Facebook going on. Our website's solid. Um, my uh, boss really likes to do Instagram, so we'll put up real okay. interesting, creative Instagrams and try to keep people uh, in tune and in touch with what's going on. It's like, oh, like there's an event going on. We're super busy. Make sure to order ahead or maybe come in a less busy day. It's, it's been great being so popular and having so much business, but now we've had to learn to pace ourselves till we do a large kitchen expansion. Uh, and that should be coming up soon, which is real exciting. Oh, but, awesome. um, uh, you know, it's a lot to juggle Friday, Saturday nights when you're pulling in twice as much business as you can produce. Right. But uh, it's been so much fun seeing everyone come in and from around town. Oh, I know you from the pizza place. <laughs> and it's and cool. people seeing their friends say, oh, John, what are you doing here? Yeah. It's a great spot, and, and like you said, just for that, for community and stuff too. Like oh, sure everybody yeah. comes in from all over around here. Um, what hours would would you be open to? Is it oh yeah, so we're back to our or? seven hours. So we're uh, it's nice. We started doing nice uh, weekday business since we're so close to downtown, and we'll always have parking during that time of day. Uh, so eleven every day, and then we're closing at ten o'clock 
Sunday through Thursday and 11 o'clock. Okay. So people uh, can yeah, come in and get Saturday. lunch and stuff through the yeah, week, too. Yeah, and we do a bit of slightly, you know, later night business, too, which is nice. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Uh, hey, for... you got it. I'm real glad you were able to come down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, thank you again. I appreciate it. And, you know, folks, come on down here and try out some of the pizza. And if you need anything at all, just reach out. Yeah, thanks. we'll look forward to seeing you. You can ask for me.